How is she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. We're out in the uh, lawn tractor shed and I got the Husqvarna here and remember we had some problems with the Husqvarna. Uh, it was hydrolocked and in springtime we had problems with the spindles on the deck. Anyways, uh, I was out mowing with it the other day and the, the deck belt keeps coming off. So I was looking at how can I resolve that issue, right? Because that's a pain. <laughs> if the, the mower deck won't go, it can't cut much grass. So when I checked, uh, the manual gives me a part number for that, and when I order that belt, it comes in, it's 101 and a half inches long. So I'm thinking it's too long. So I checked uh, on Amazon, of course. I looked around for a bunch of different other belts, and I found another belt that has the same part number, and it's only 101 inches long. Now, a half inch doesn't sound like much, but a half inch might be all I need. I'm going to try and change the belt and put the shorter belt on it, and uh, see if that works but I, before I do that I just want to show you what's happening with the belt underneath the tractor. So hard to see here but this is the belt and it keeps drooping down off the pulley see that and when I try to flip it up on there it'll go on and I can start the blades but as soon as I stop them it flops down again and another thing I'm having problems with see this nice shiny little uh, belt guard here that keeps breaking and I'm just wondering if the belt is so loose that it's just flipping and flopping around in there and caused me all that grief. So I had to take my deck off uh, because when I was trying to change the belt, look, I noticed this blade was pretty loose. The, the bolt that holds the blade on, it was loose. Holy crow. Remember when I changed these blades, I put never seize on there because I was afraid that they would uh, seize up but apparently that's not the case. Uh, but one thing, looking on this deck after running it all summer, she's pretty clean really, eh? Good shape, I like that. Anyhow, we're gonna try and tighten this up, see how I make out. Because we don't want my blade to come flying off at me. In fact, I remember when I put these on, they were loose like this. And I came up with a solution for that. I can't remember exactly what the solution was right now. But let's just take this off again. See if I can discover what it is. See what I come up with here. No, I remember what what the solution was. These uh, star shafts here, star outputs on the bottom of the spindles, they were thicker than the blade was, right? So I had to grind them down. And apparently, I didn't grind them down enough. Now, I, I can't run it with that, so I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna stop, and grind a little bit more off those spindles, and then uh, we'll see what it looks like after that. What I want to do is make this stir as flat with the top of the uh, blade as I can. That seems better. That's a lot tighter, eh? So I think that's what we'll do on this one too. Yeah, that's a lot tighter. I like that. 
Okay, now we're going to try and uh, sling the belt on there <laughs> and see if we make out. Okay, so here's the new belt. Let's see if we can get it put on here. It goes around there. And then that goes up there. And it comes back here. That's about it, right there. All right, we're going to slide this back under the tractor and hook it up and then see if we can get this put on the front roller. That's going to be the tricky part because the belt's shorter now. All right, so we got the deck back underneath. Everything's hooked up. Got the belt uh, set in there and it's, it's staying on the front roller a lot better than the other belt did. So that half inch might make the difference. Okay, so it looks like I got the belt on there pretty good. I'm going to start it up Try to engage the blades, disengage a couple of times, because that's when the belt would fall off. So let's try that. Alright, so looking under here again to see the belt is all lined up good and it's well engaged in this pulley. So I think that was the trick alright. The belt was just, the other belt was just too long. The mower is working good, eh? The blades are on good and tight and that belt hasn't come off once and I started to stop the blades a couple of times so with no issues. So I think the shorter belt is the answer. Uh, so that happens, you know, I guess you buy what you think are original replacement parts because they match the manufacturer's number, uh, but it turns out they're not the right size. They're just a little bit off, right? And it makes all the difference in the world. The mower is working good now, getting the grass cut and it's turned into a really nice day here at the lake, although it's Ball is in the air, boys. There's a wind blowing and there's a chill in it, so I got my shirt on. <laughs> so I guess summer's over. Anyways, folks, uh, let me know if you've ever run into this problem where you order what you think is a replacement part because it matches the manufacturer's number. It turns out it's not a replacement part at all. It's an almost replacement part. Have a great week, folks. Stay safe wherever you are, too, and stay warm because it's getting chilly. We'll talk to you soon.